Hello everyone, and welcome to a new game, little mini-series. I've been wanting to play a game like this for a while, something just chill, a little creepy, a little spooky. This is Home Safety Hotline. I know almost nothing about this, it just looked very interesting. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got we have mail jesus that's bright no message to, oh uh welcome to the home safety hotline family we are pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder your supervisor's name is carol regina uh, she will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy as a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Uh, let's see. Attention call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Do I have one? There's a Discord. Uh, I don't... Oh, this, probably. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, didn't look like black mold, yeah, it's dangerous, metamorphosis, why, what, don't become a statistic. Uh, 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 um, um, let's see, metamorphosis, metamorphosis, I'm not looking at the word, by the way, I'm looking at the, I don't know if, um, mm-hmm, what does that have to do with metamorphosis, though, I, I don't like, I don't like that. Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Clearly, I, uh, I did. So oh, okay. That was the correct option. God, this is so nineties. To begin shift, please clock in below. All right. Boy, it even has uh, authentic 90s speeds. Okay, so we have entries here. Bed bugs. Small insects known for feeding on the blood of humans. I mean, yeah, these are... Okay. Bees. That does sound like bees. Uh, black mold. Carpenter ants. Oh. Okay, we have our first call. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Uh-huh. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard, and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay. So we just wait, and then we diagnose their issue with one of these. Okay, cockroaches. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of things that we don't have. Gophers? Uh, I'm, um, uh... alright, game face. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna put you on hold. 
Please hold. Uh, well, cockroaches are no immediate danger to humans, but are known disease carriers. They frequently inhabit kitchens and other areas. Uh, let's see, let's see. Homeowners with a cockroach infestation commonly report seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Yeah, you got cockroaches. Uh, cockroaches. Hold on, sir. It, it's, um, there we go. Info successfully sent to client. Easy peasy. Where were we? Housefly? Oh, we were on gopher. Yeah. Little, little cute guy. Little housefly. Oh, God, I hate spiders. Nice. Hello. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like... E e e e you know? It, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but... I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. All right, let me put Please you on hold. hold. Sounds of squeaking. Uh, let's see. It's probably mice. Probably wouldn't be a raccoon. Uh... Clattering sounds, yeah. Raccoons make more than just little squeaks. Termites and ticks don't make any sounds. You know, it's gotta be... Mice. You got mice. I mean, how do people not know this stuff? You hear e Oh, Jesus, where is it? You hear e e e coming from your attic, it's probably mice. Especially at night. ma'am. There we are. We're so good at this. This is so easy. Ah, uh, you got moles capable of biting humans and spreading disease, such as rabies. Yeah, but like, chances are low, right? These don't seem like, like, life-ending hazards. It's just normal stuff. Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. Mm-hmm. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. All right, leave it on hold. Uh, let's see. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds, and they are known to eat insects. It could be moles. Never kill a mole. Uh, why? I mean, it could be raccoons leaving... But, uh... Garbage spills. Not noticing any of that, huh? It's definitely not, not gonna be ticks or termites. They're not leaving giant piles of turd in your yard. Gopher? Uh, b -b I don't think it's a gopher. I don't think it's cockroaches. I mean, it's gotta be raccoons, right? Or not raccoons. Um, mole. It's not actually turds. Uh, tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. You could argue that it looks like a, like a duke. Yeah, we'll say mole. You got moles, man. Where was it? There it is. I'm I'm seeing now they're in alphabetical order, and I'm just stupid. All right, good job. Easy peasy. And we've read through pretty much everything. We know termites. Yes, yes. And then ticks. 
Yes, yes. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Huh? That was weird. Do we have a new entry? Wild running fridges? No? Uh, oh, I didn't actually know ticks were arachnids. That makes me hate them even more. I don't... One moment while it connects. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Let me put you on hold. Feeling sick. Uh, rashes, no. Could be. Uh, blah, 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 breathing problems. Let's see. Sorry, I'm also trying not to sniffle in the mic. My sinuses are going crazy today. So he's feeling sick out in the yard. Did he get bit by something? Uh, web sightings. You just say... I guess we're dealing with the kid not feeling well. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. And the stress of the lawn is giving him a headache. So he has a headache and his kid is sick. So you guys definitely have something going on in the house. Um, you guys been bitten by ticks, maybe? Headaches? Illness, chills, tall grass. Yeah, you you guys both have been bitten by ticks. Burrow in burrow their head into the flesh of their victim. Ticks are so gross. That's absolutely what you got going on. You need to cut that grass. Get rid of the ticks. You silly goose. I mean, it is your house, so... Oh, my shift has ended. Okay. Accuracy 100%. That's what I'm talking about. That is because we're the best. Complete your first day. Achieve. All right, let's... A human DNA confirm. What, what was that? Is it still the same thing? Yeah. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is new. Uh, you don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Okay. Earn an exclusive employee discount. Hey, yo. To receive your discount, simply type the following code during your online checkout. Buzz off. Bug spray. Can we actually, like, redeem that? What's over here? Oh, that... Okay, that opens an external link. Hold on. Okay, that's an actual Discord. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can, like, buy stuff. Whatever. Let's just get back to work. I love my job. On this Tuesday. It actually is Tuesday for me. Alright, let's get to it. After the dial-up is able to finally clock us in. Uh, do we have any new entries? Does not appear so. Hello? Hello? Oh, Carol. Oh, it's Carol again. Your 
supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Please be aware that oh. this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Thank you. That corporate thank you. Permissions have been updated. Oh, okay. We got bats. Yeah, look at the little guy. What? God, it's like I gotta do stuff. Is that Mike? Sorry, I'm a... Sounds like me right now. calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Alright, let me Please put you on hold. hold there, Mike. Uh, do you have bad teeth? What is that? Bad teeth are a rare kind of household fungus. Known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets. Uh... That's disgusting. I feel like the picture's moving. Uh, let's see. Carbon monoxide? You wouldn't be, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's it. Cellar growths? What? Okay. Common hob? What the fuck? Um... They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky sub substances, cleaning them in the process. Okay, those don't sound like a problem. A little desk hob. Uh, uh. Let's see. False beat? What the fuck? Harmless unless eaten by a human. Uh. I'm just looking for something, sir, to figure out why you're sneezing. Huh? Pipe gross enough to make loud bubbling digestion noises? You the f You- uh, okay. A stair slug. Thanks, I hate that. Large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements report a slimy residue. Why is this guy sneezing? Man, that's all I want to know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night. That's not what's happening. This guy is simply sneezing. Itchiness, no. Could be some ants. It's probably not ants. Uh, do cellar growths make you? No. Toxic. Eh, I don't think that's. There's. So... Whoa. Okay. Hi. Uh, the hob. Blah blah blah. They bear a false face, so, um, you got flies, maybe? Buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. Alright. Why is my guy sneezing, though, is my thing. Let's see here. It's definitely not carbon monoxide or anything like this, but it's probably something new. Head, headaches, dizziness, or lethargy. Uh, let him talk again. Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house... I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, 
past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. None of this is helping. I'm kind of in, like, thinking cockroaches again. But I'm not certain. Uh... Because I'm not seeing anything about, like, making people sneeze. I mean, ticks? Did you get got by a tick again? I really don't know. Black mold? Breathing problems? This is the one I didn't look at. Yeah, it's black mold. It's gotta be. Let's see. Black mold and submit. Hope that helps. Alright. What in the hell? Oh, house fires are new. Rapid combustion reactions that can occur inside a home. They are often caused by accident when cooking or on purpose by more malicious household pests. Huh? Commonly report the smell of burning. Yeah, no shit. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like... Maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but I do. When I, I go know. look at it, I find the place spotless. I know what it is. I haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? There absolutely oh. is. Give me one moment. That I believe is a common hob. Uh they're small humanoid creatures with gray burlap-like skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances. They only come out at night. Uh, oh, they are capable of mis mischievous acts and metamorphosis. You... Yeah, I would think that's somebody robbing my house. You, ma'am, have got a common hob. There you are. You'll be getting an info package shortly. Thank you for calling. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the name of this place. House safety. Have, has. Oh, God, it's completely blanking. Uh -huh. Having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> Oh, you actually have a problem. I got these snappers itching and whooping, crying all over the place, just all over the place. I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. Oh, that just goes okay. I thought that was like a okay. I thought we were actually gonna have to diagnose that. My mistake. So, got a lot of these hob things. A pipe hob. Ow. It's a subspecies of hob that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They are small. I... I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! Okay, you need to calm down. Please it's obviously hold. some kind of critter. Living in your walls. I would assume... That's your mouse. Small, worthless rodents commonly found in the house. 
Homeowners of the mice infestation come they report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of squeaking. Uh, maybe not. This isn't saying they would be in the walls. There's something that was in the walls. Termites? That'd be too small for there to be... I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. Uh, well. Small holes in the drywall. I guess they, you don't really sm hear that. Smell it? Hear it. Could it be another kind of hob? I saw something that lived in the, uh, in the walls. Faint rustling sound coming from their walls. Nesting inside of wood. I mean... I'm thinking you just got carpenter ants. You can hear something crawling in the walls. Yeah, bad teeth, or bed teeth, aren't gonna be in the walls, huh? Not a desk hob, that probably stays on the desk. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we gotta go with... What was it? Carpenter ants? I think you just got ants, lady. And your info package should be on the way now. So, let's see. We've got all these different hobs. Fracture hob. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Please hold. Okay, so you don't have any droppings. They are, they are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They are physically smaller. Um... And causing cracks. Sounds like scratching. It's real quiet. What would be... Would this sound like scratching? Probably not. Banging and whistling sounds? No. So it's just scratching in the walls. Let's see. Squeaky floorboards. No. You got a stair slug? Probably not. Um. God, I'm looking through here and I'm just not seeing anything it would be. Do not bear a false face, like to tidy their homes. Do you have a cellar growth? It's so gross. Um... Do you have bats? Sounds of scratching or flapping at night. But you haven't seen any droppings. So I'm kind of tempted here. Oh my gosh, I really don't know actually. Been hearing in my house lately sounds like scratching, but it's real quiet. There's definitely some kind of pest in my walls. Set out traps, but that didn't stop it. Uh, let's see. 
quickly repopulate and resume activity? That's possible. It could be termites. Squeaky floorboards. I guess it could be termites. Because nothing else really fits the bill. Where? Did I miss it? There it is. I'm going to say you got termites. I might be wrong, man. So I'm, I apologize if it is, but... God, we don't even get any time to, like, study these, really. So we know Hobbs like to clean things from what I've seen. They're kind of cute in a weird way. You on hold. Hold. Known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures, they regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking, and he did say papers. Going through my stuff at night. Uh, cannot be removed once they nest. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to say you got a desk hob. I mean, I know it's crazy that we were just on that, but... He comes in and tidies stuff. I'm gonna say you got a desk hob, man. So, uh, if he's nested there already, you're screwed. Sorry about that. Hope everything works out, uh, Dan. Thanks for, for uh, stopping by, for calling in. 60? Okay. I wish I could know what I got wrong. But... This is where we're going to have to end it for this episode. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.